All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jet. We're back here on part three of Sons of the Forest. I don't think I even had these videos labeled as parts. But before we start getting into all that, real quick, I want to just thank everybody so much for all the love and support. Seriously, I did not expect this much love and support and new subscribers. Yesterday's video got over like 40 or 50,000 likes on. Just thank you guys so much for all that. And if you want some more of the Sons of the Forest content, again, leave a like on this video, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. So this time around, I kind of want to like explore along the coast here, but I'm not entirely sure what I should do first so it seems like the sun is actually going down i don't know if it's a good idea for me to search the coast right now so remember that other beach over there i kind of want to go and see what that mark is over in the water uh he's also pretty tired so he's chilling um it might be a bad idea for me to travel and do this at nighttime because I would have to run all the way back here. I'm gonna sleep. All right, it's early, early morning. Can start traveling now, but they're definitely still active. Uh, somebody told me that when I went to the one body over there that had the GPS there, uh, they said that I missed a flashlight. Did I? Where would the flashlight be stored at? Did I really miss it? Should I go back and try to find the flashlight? Apparently there was a flashlight on that body and I didn't actually pick it up. Yeah, I'll head up the river and uh, check it again. Wait, it's not the green one. I think it's the purple one up there before the cave either way we have to go this way kind of so as we're just passing by we'll try to see if we can find that flashlight it was supposed to fall off the guy's body but somehow i found the gps thing but didn't notice that he dropped the flashlight as well somebody said that i made that one cave way scarier than it needed to be just because i should have been able to have the uh flashlight at that time instead of me walking around with that freaky little electric lighter i've never been chased down and killed by anything so if i just run i should be fine so i'm assuming over here is where we have that spot where we were supposed to dig yeah this is that little digging spot yes okay we've been here before right 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 so i remember correctly so up here we should have uh oh a crate mre pack perfect i haven't used that gps tracker yet i'm not really sure what i can use it for but i'm finding things nonetheless because even in dude in the first forest i had no idea where to even start with things i knew where to find my little music thing to you know keep me company and I, that was it dude i've seen other people's playthroughs so many people build over here this is such a nice little area but speaking of nice it's Virginia. She sees me. She's running. She's running up to me. Oh, and she's running away again. Well, I I'm not going to bother her then. Yeah, so up here, there was this guy over here, and we found his body, and we got the GPS tracker thingy. Wait, why is it beeping again? It shouldn't be beeping again. We already have a GPS thing. Does it respawn? I know that there's some bugs and stuff going on on this game. For example, if you have any loose stuff on the ground, like logs or sticks or whatever on the ground, and then you sleep or like load the save back or something like that, they all disappear. But if you were to store them instead... <laughs> I'm done talking. I can't help but think, though, with this little GPS thing, it makes me super, super anxious, but it reminds me of the, uh, what was it, 2009 remake of Friday the 13th, when the dudes were searching for that weed in the forest. The one dude had a GPS similar to this that was doing this. Okay, so we cut the body down here, right? Flashlight! Now let's go to where we were going. We were gonna follow this river all the way down. We could also check this little marker over here as well if we want. So it seems like this thing just beeps for anything that's in these little special areas. Boom big flashlight and now the flashlight comes up instead of the uh, lighter nice we basically would have checked like the majority of this part of the island at this point surprisingly though we haven't found that i mean we found some weapons i guess we got the stun gun we got this thing i really got to start playing with my headset turned down just at least a little bit we got a bunch of energy bars and a couple mre packs and stuff like that so we're fine to survive out here it's so nice too to travel around in the morning it just feels safer it's a cave wait but it doesn't have a cave mark it's just something else good thing we got a flashlight is this a room hello what resin batteries batteries crunchy wunch arrows we can sleep in here oh wow is it safe though like can I close the door, please? I would actually feel so safe in here. I don't even need to build anything. Let me just sleep in here. Got a computer down. Dude, we're set. Added resin to 3D printer. I guess we could do the flask. I've never 3D printed anything in my life, but honestly, I kind of want to buy one. Printed flask. Uh, okay, and a mask. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I'm making a mask. I mean, that's really weird, but sure. Red mask collected. Okay, what, what does all this do, though? Red mask equipped. What? So I just put it over my face and what i don't get it and i'm gonna assume i can fill that flask with water right uh, what else is there grappling hooks tech mesh a sled i don't know what tech mesh is for a sled why is a sled 1000 i don't know if i should spend a thousand for a sled though i'm gonna do it three boom sled 
Uh, awesome. And we can add even more resin to it. So we have 200 resin left, and then we're out. So what can we get? What is this? It's just a regular, like a modern door. Oh, we need a key card. I want to get in there. Okay. We'll have to remember this. Uh, holy shit. Okay. I, wow, that's so weird. Every time I get into the darkness on this game, I want to turn the brightness all the way up. But then every time I get outside, I want to turn the brightness back to normal. I'm happy that this is like straight up a cave that's just not dangerous at all. All right. Well, since we're out of here, let's eat a little bit. Let's eat this MRE pack. I'm going to check that other green spot over there as well after we go and check whatever this is out in the water. It's probably like a boat or something. Oh, dude, if the cassette player is there. I love this game. It's honestly like a very real life experience. You can see some nice, pretty, beautiful stuff and then out of nowhere it takes a really really dark turn and then the next moment everything is beautiful again so that looks like yeah it's definitely a boat or some kind of like flotation thing whatever now okay here's the thing though i haven't gone out that far the only time i've ever gone out that far was wait this isn't our beach is it no this was the one beach we made it to before yeah yeah, yeah. okay this is where kind of where we had the one start at are there sharks there was a shark in that one cave it didn't kill us but it definitely would kill us if we let it is that music holy wait this guy had so much stuff wires zip line ropes wait what is this music dude i don't know what it is or how they select these songs but it said something about like did i get pistol ammo or a pistol or something it said stun gun ammo buckshot ammo nine millimeter ammo a bunch of batteries circuit boards hide armor leaf armor molotov repair tools torches i don't really need any of that besides like maybe some armor but we'll drop the rotten fish okay so how many drinks can we actually get out of this though so let's get a drink of this real quick before we go over there here's a really stupid question oh i got pistol rail that's what it is so i assume if i find a pistol i can put that on if i take this stun gun and shoot it in the water if i do come across something will it do anything about to find out I'd electrocute myself in the process but you know what it's dying with me is it even a good idea to even have this out at all I probably shouldn't even have this on my person but Hey, it's a video game. Dude, this guy, hey, he went out good. Good for him. Oh. Now, if I start swimming in this, can I shoot this? No. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to swim. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, shit. I'm starting to... Oh, fuck! There is a shark! Please! Please! Ah! Oh, okay, I'm staying in here forever. I'm never moving again. Ah! Another GPS locator. Okay. Oh, there's a pistol. Okay, well, we got a gun now. Can I cap the shark? Let's uh, combine this and this. So I don't know what the pistol rail is gonna do, but let's uh, just combine it. it. Does that help with aiming? Where's the shark at? Okay, there it is. Okay, that is absurdly fast. No, absolutely not. How much ammo do I have? Seven shots? Okay, I just need to see the shark attack something one more time so I know it won't aggro me. So I guess his like, his paddle broke and he couldn't like move it to shore and he just kept getting carried out and he died out here. Oh, okay, there it is, there it is. Oh, it's a great white. Just swim as fast as possible, man. Fuck! Go, 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 go. It even, it shouldn't even be that hungry. There's so many fish. Why would it attack me? No way a shark comes all the way up here. Ha. Ah. Woo! Life flashed before my eyes. Hey, buddy. Um, again, I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep your radio here to keep you company, but thank you for the, uh, pistol rail. Sorry I didn't make it to you sooner, friend. Okay, now let's go check this one green thing over here. I hope we have enough time to do this. I guess a pistol is probably not the best idea right now, all right? Come on, Kelvin, keep up. You don't have to stay back, like, 50 yards. We know that that 3D printer is down there, so I don't know if it was maybe bugged or something at the time, but I couldn't add any more resin to it for some reason. Really want to buy a 3D printer now. What am I gonna build with it? I, I don't know. Maybe, like, figurines or something? Am I a loser? Okay, I remember traveling along this before. So I think the mask actually will prevent them from attacking? Yeah, he's just looking at me. Come on, Kelvin. Get away from him. Hey, get away from him. Back up. Get away from him. Wait, the mask actually scares him away. That's how the mask works. Why did I spend a thousand resin on a sled. Did I just meme? That just doesn't seem that useful to me. So I'm gonna assume this probably doesn't work on like mutants though. Let's eat an energy bar. Some people were saying it was a really bad idea to actually build on the beach because I wouldn't be able to get a bunch of logs, but I think some people, they might play the game a little bit differently from each other. I'm not very good or creative with a lot of my buildings. So, I mean, this is another cave that seems like, I'm so happy I have this flashlight. We're good. I mean, why doesn't it have a cave marker, though? Is that a hatch? Food and dining. What? What is in here? What the fuck? Ramen noodles? Oh my. Crunchy wunchies. Thought you might find this interesting. 
We're calling it Artifact 1. Might be related to that cube you guys found. Was there like a tesseract or some sh What is going on in here? I don't see anything else in here. It was just like a bunch of food and again, another key card door over here that we just won't be able to enter. Okay, so these two marked areas will have to come back eventually after we get this key card then. So we need a shovel, we need a key card. Woo! I'm here, buddy. Right, let's make our way to this one, and then we just book it straight home. I knew we were gonna start running out of time. We need more stamina. Let's pop some G fuel. Boom. Don't have to worry about sleep for a while. There's a whole camp here. Okay, I'm good. It's starting to rain. This is the worst. This is honestly such a unique looking moment in like the weather and location and the cloud coverage with the thunder and lightning. Oh man, starting to beep a bunch. Gonna figure out what it is over here. Where is it? Thing that is right in front of me. Where? Small rocks? Do we have to chop the trees down, maybe? It seems like it's moving or something. Is it above us? Should I chop a tree down? Oh, there's a grave here. We don't have a shovel, though. Okay, I guess that's a grave that we'll have to dig up or something at some point. All right, let's go home, dude. Oh, there's a little campsite here. Some printer resin again. Oh, we could sleep here. Yeah, let's do that. Probably a terrible idea. Yeah, we just slept in a camp with some bodies here. Don't worry about it. The rain and wind and foliage here is crazy. All right, well, that was interesting. Um, Still got to figure out how to get this shovel and a few other things, but I mean, that energy drink is still kicking in. Yeah, I know that some people were actually asking for some of these episodes to be longer, but the, the issue that happens is like making them much longer, but then also trying to get them out every day. I can only make them so long a lot of the time because if I wake up and then record for a certain amount of time and then have to edit it a certain amount of time and then upload it at a reasonable time, it just kind of like adds up to that. Now I could edit it less, but there's a lot of downtime and just like a lot of running and traveling around and just looking for stuff. You know how it goes. Uh, I know this sounds like a stupid question, okay? But let me just ask it anyway. <laughs> if I took a bunch of meat and put it on a drying rack at our camp, they ended up drying after like a day or two, however long they had to be hanging there. What happens if it rains? Would I have to re-dry? Because they are wet again. Dried fish, dried meat. Okay, so there's the cooked fish, there's dry fish. Can I cook dried meat? and dried fish. Also, one issue is that uh, we're probably not cooking in this weather unless this game just doesn't make sense. Right, so let's just try it with the fish. We're gonna put a dried fish on there and see what happens. Cooked fish collected. Did I just turn a dried fish into a cooked fish and it just doesn't matter? Is it a super fish now? It's not dried cooked fish, so it's just cooked fish again. Okay, whatever, I'm just dumb. My fault. All right, so how often can you actually drink from this? So boom, we get a drink that gives... Oh, wow, you can hold a good amount. So you get like, what? Four or five drinks out of this? Yeah, okay, you get four drinks out of it. Beautiful. And it's operating. We'll fill this back up. So if I did make the videos longer, it would kind of result in I would either upload them a little less or there will be less editing and a lot more downtime. Just people don't want to see all that. So anyway, still got to figure out how to get that shovel and... I don't even know where to start with that key card. So we've basically searched everything we could in this location, I think. One of them has the 3D printer. That's a site to dig at. That is the food thing with the uh, key card. The other one over there is the 3D printer. Did we search that green one all the way over there? I don't think we did. Maybe next time. Did I not tell Kelvin to go and collect some logs and then bring them back to the holder? Did I not tell him to do that? He shook his head yes, and he just never did it. Oh, yeah, he can't do it. That's why people are telling me that it's a bad spot, because I can't have Kelvin go and collect the logs. Here's the thing. It's only bad if I planned on building anything. He could live a very minimalist lifestyle. Who needs a big built-up house when you can have anything else? Now, someone told me something about, like, a zip line, but I don't know how to do that. I, I have some rope, and I saw that there was, like, a zip line shooting thing, but... There's nothing to, like, shoot it. See? Yeah, I have zipline ropes and ropes and stuff like that, but no actual gun to fire it. So I'm probably gonna have to try to find that as well. And we literally spent a thousand resin for a sled. I, I don't know. Uh, ramen. Oh, oh, man, it's going so well. Some oysters, nice and healthy. So yeah, anyway, if you guys want another part of the Sons of the Forest, next time we'll try to figure out where the shovel is, where that key card is, whatever all these other areas are. I want to go and figure out what's up there. Maybe also explore the mountains and the snow and stuff like that. Maybe then we can use the sled. That makes a lot of sense.